Thank you. Thank you for that uh, blustery introduction. Uh, it, it's, it is such an honor for me to be here. Uh, I, I can't tell you how, uh, how truly honored I was that when uh, Tim and Kathy asked, asked me to come and, and be at this, uh, at this ribbon cutting. Uh, Christendom College has had an incredibly special uh, place in our heart and our family. Uh, we, have two, we have two daughters who are married. Both of them have married Christendom graduates. Um, and uh, both of these young men are incredible additions to our family in, in areas of just their dynamism and their absolute passion for the faith uh, and, their, and their incredible formation uh, that, they, that they got here at, at Christendom College. The same with my son, who is a Christendom grad, and his wife, who is a Christendom grad. So uh, we, are, uh, we are just so grateful for the tremendous formation that Christendom provided to three of our, uh, of, of our uh, children's wives and, and one of our children. Uh, so just on a personal level, uh, Christendom is, uh, is, is very special to, to us. Uh, but I, I listened to Father Pollard's uh, opening remarks and he quoted Adams a few times and he talked about the, the essential nature of, of, a, of a constitutional republic that we have. You know, Adams said that our constitution is made for a moral and religious people is wholly inadequate for the governance of any other. Why? Because a people who are free without virtue can lead to, well, what we're experiencing today. Freedom without any constraints, libertinism, and a complete de degradation of humanity that we are seeing. And Christendom stands, in my mind, as a gem, an incredible gem at the center of what the problem is of this country, which is the formation of our young people and, and, and inculcating virtue into them and understanding what the really good life and a happy life really is all about, a life oriented toward the true, the good, and the beautiful, and oriented thereby to God. And Christendom is this gem, and I, I have known about this gem, and obviously all of you do for a long time, but the country has not. The world has not. And I, and I always, always was a, a little frustrated that we had this hidden gem, and in the world today, in America today, we can no longer hide our gems. We need, to, we need to stop hiding these lights that Christendom is under a bushel basket. And as you look beyond me, this chapel is a chapel that as you drive down 66, you see the light. You see this, this, this edifice just reaching out and, and, and proclaiming the truth and, and the goodness that is here at Christendom, this beautiful structure. The structure that just is awe-inspiring and that, and that attracts. Christendom has had that beauty for a long, long time. Now you see that beauty and you see it from far and wide. That is a special gift that those of you who are here today by contributing your labor and your time and, and your money to, to establish, to, to sort of take this light and put it on a lampstand. This is the lampstand. This is a lampstand that's showing the light of Christendom to this valley, to the people driving by, and I think for others who will see and hear about this, this institution because of the beauty and wonder and spectacularness of this, of this chapel. So I'm excited because I see this as a, as a great opportunity in this, in this tremendous chapel to shine Christendom's light that is so desperately needed for a country that is in such darkness. So I am honored to be here today, and I thank all of you for all that you did to make this happen. God bless.